Okay, Coach Lester, OAC 2019. Were you at a high school tournament yesterday, first things first? No, we actually had the weekend off. Uh, we planned on being down in Columbus, didn't go our way, so had a free weekend off, but I guess as a wrestling coach, you never do. So now I'm here checking out our junior high guys, supporting them, and watching them kick some butt. You look at, uh, you know, St. V bringing you in as a head coach. I like to call that a power move, by the way. Because that's a power so, move. Yeah. When I bring in an Olympian to coach my guys and a guy who's from the area, right, bring you back from Colorado. Colorado was your last stop before yes. back, coming back from Ohio? Yes. To Ohio? Yep. Okay. So bringing you here, putting you on at St. V, head coach. i tell you what, the product I saw on the mat at the GIT, I like some of the guys. You got guys, man. Oh, we're rolling. Uh, the guys are buying into the program. They're buying into themselves. So it's fun to start watching them. Um, you know, come along and, and really start to hit some of the techniques and the mentality, you know, we're preaching as a staff. So it's it's fun to watch. It's really fun. Doing the double duty, you know, like you could have taken the weekend off. You didn't have to come here today. How important is it to come here and, and see the future, future St. B guys? It's good, you know. The, the, the guys love it when the high school guys and the coaches come and support them um, or, you know, support them in the room, things like that. So I had the weekend off. I had to get up here and, and make sure that I see these guys, um, especially qualify, you know, for the state tournament. I want to see them do well. So I made my way up here, and I'll be up here all day until last guy wrestles. Okay, so one of the greatest club, youth clubs in, in all of America is not there anymore, North Akron. What happened was some of the guys migrated to you guys to Shamrock Wrestling Club, which feeds St. V, right? That, that's basically what happened, right? Correct. How important is it to, to kind of keep that thing going in Akron for you guys, a, a strong youth program? Well, it's, it's the most important thing. You have to have a feeder program. You know, we're a little different. We're a private school, and uh, so we don't have a junior high that connects on or whatever, so we have to have a really strong club to make sure uh, we're getting the guys in. So, you know, I like to get the guys in fifth grade, get them into, you know, the program, the type of wrestling that I want, and keep them all the way through. That's the hard part, you know. It's private school. You got tuition. You got people traveling from, you know, an hour away, but you get the guys who really want to be there and they buy in, you keep them through the club, and that's the way to go. I saw Weimer the other night for Ashland. That guy can roll. Oh, yeah. That so, guy's a scrambling freak, man, right? Yeah, yeah and he's, he's really good. He's one of those guys that really bought into really learning how to wrestle. You know, he knew how to wrestle. He knew the moves, um, but really learning the positioning and things like that. And it's going to pay off for him in college. Um, and it's exciting. He's, he's doing well in college, but I think, you know, his last three years, he's really going to turn some heads there. What do you think of this OAC, Ohio Athletic Committee? They, they put together one heck of a tournament. It's crazy. Um, it's a meat grinder, right? It is crazy. And you didn't have this. No, no. But I think it started probably around my junior year um, of high school. I remember going, I went with Kyle Ott and Drew Opfer, um, and we uh, went to, we handed out the awards or something. Oh, you were a special guest? Yeah, I was a special That's guest. That's actually really cool. 2001, yep, 2001, I think. Uh, I can't remember. It was a couple really, really good kids those years. Um, so we got to watch those guys. But, yeah, this this has turned into crazy. And I got to go to the state tournament over in uh, Youngstown the last couple years. And it, it's crazy what they turned this into. And it's great. It's it's really, really great. You get to see the talent that you're going to be seeing the next year, you know, at the Ohio State Tournament and, and things like that. So I'm glad they put this together. And it's really good for our sport. Definitely good for Ohio. How high is the level of competition? I think it's good. You see some kids here. And... I know at the when I was in eighth grade, people say I was a freak, but these kids are they're hitting the basics. They see some kids that have a really high level, you know, high IQ of wrestling. So it's good to see that um, instead of you know the flopping around and but you see some kids that that are hitting the moves, good positioning, chain wrestling. So it's good to see. You're one of the minds I like to hear pick, pick your brain on youth wrestling. You've been all over the world. I mean, all the continents that have wrestling that are strong in it. And you see how they develop wrestling at the youth level, right? You've been to Russia. You've been to, you name it, you've been there, right? Yep. China. You wrestle the world championships there. It, it, it's insane to think about it. 2012 Olympics. Do we develop these kids? And, and how, how do we develop compared to how Russia does it? How, how all these other different nations do it? Uh, Uzbekistan, Azerbaijan, Iran. How, you know, you've been to Iran, right? I, it's, it's just different. Um, here it's... It's more wrestling first instead of really learning your body. Um, if I had it my way, any kid who came to me their first year, I'd send them to gymnastics. I'd send them, you know, to a place where they can learn their body. I think that's the biggest difference between our youth wrestlers and their youth wrestlers. I took a group to Denmark last year, and uh, you know, they're seven, eight-year-olds. They're all flipping like they're they're in the gymnastics, and our guys are like. You know, some of the high school guys can't do that, you know. So um, the kids learn their bodies. So when they get in positions, 
later on in life they can they get that feel you know um but i think what we do here is mentality we build the mentality the hard work the the bruise and the, to go out and fight um they don't have that um so i think that's the big difference so what i'm trying to do at my club is a mesh of it get these kids to learn their bodies learn how to scramble out of things by feel but you get that by tumbling and, and doing things like that and we're always going to build the mentality to, to go out and, and and bust your butt and fight all the way through every match body awareness they're big, big into time. body awareness big time okay that's, that's I, why literally I everybody i've ever talked to you guys all say that yeah so that's what you get into some positions with these guys and you're like i'm about to score and the next thing you know you're in a position like how the heck did I get here? And it's just them, they, they get the feel and things like that. So I tell the guys, it's like a dance. Like when you get in certain positions with those guys, it's, it's constant movement, it's, it's fluidity, it's, it's great. So that's what I'm hoping to bring to my club and, and the high school team. Last thing, it's Jeff Jordan's not a Graham anymore. Everybody's saying this could be the year that somebody knocks him off. They've won the last 18 Division II state championships in the state of Ohio. Can you guys make a run? Can you can you do better than that silver, silver trophy? Can you bring it back to St. B? That's going to come down to these high school guys. Um, it's going to come down to our team, Aurora, Canfield. we got to knock some of the Graham, Graham guys off before the semis and, and before the finals. But they're a juggernaut, man. They're always going to be good. Um, Jeff is arguably one of the greatest coaches here in Ohio. Um, he's not going to leave that program to where it's just going to go down. It's always going to be a great program. And you saw them at GIT. Those guys look tough up and down the line. So if we can if we can knock some of those guys off before you know the semis and limit some of their points. But outside of that, they're still tough as nails, and they're always going to be that way. It's Graham. All right, I lied. I got one more question. You have the one of the the, 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 the icons of athletics. Uh, one of the most famous guys on the planet is an alum of your school, right? LeBron James. Um, he gives a lot back to your guys' school. He right, does. he built a facility. He, he, your guys' is like athletic facility is built by him, right? No, he redid the gym. There. Redid the gym. Okay, he redid the gym. Um, had some other really good donors redo the Cosgrove building. Um, that's where our wrestling room is. If you come to our wrestling room, it's it's on par with with some of the better high school wrestling rooms. It's not an oil and tangy room, but um, we have absolutely everything we need. Um, but he does. He he's very generous to the school. Um, more to the school than to athletics, which is good because it helps kids who really wouldn't be able to go there get in, things like that. So his foundation does a lot, you know, for our school and the community. Do, they, do you know him? Oh, yeah. Yep, so. Nice guy. Oh, super nice. Pretty nice guy. Yeah, super nice Gets guy. a bad rap from some people, man. He's the best athlete in the world, you know, and, well... Outside of wrestling, he's okay. the best athlete. I, I, in the world. I was just—I was actually going to correct. Yeah, I mean, he's come on. He's the best athlete, athlete in the world outside of wrestling. Um, but I mean, think about it. You have people constantly coming up to you. At some point, you, you got to put you know a wall up and, and walk away. So of course he's going to get a bad. You know, he didn't talk to me. You know, he's got a thousand other people talking to him. So billions, look, right? Yeah. So that's how you got to look at it. Um, but no, he's a nice guy. All right, you got coaching. Do you got anything else for me? No, just uh, thank the OAC for putting this on and. We'll see you guys down at the state tournament, I guess. Coach, thanks for the time and good luck. You're welcome. Thank you.